It's full steam ahead for the deployment of the THAAD missile defense system to South Korea. The land transfer process from a Korean conglomerate to U.S. forces Korea is now complete. Relevant evaluations are set to begin ahead of the system going live. Park Jong-hong with the details. South Korea and the United States have wrapped up the land transfer process, expediting the deployment of the anti-missile defense system. Seoul's foreign ministry says it has completed the regulatory process needed for providing the base site, formerly a golf course owned by Lotte Group, to U.S. forces Korea. This concludes the land provision process that began on March 2nd under the Status of Forces Agreement a bilateral treaty that governs the status of U.S. troops stationed in South Korea. Accordingly, work will begin in earnest to transform some 300,000 square meters of land into a military base for THAAD, or Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System. The work involves not only moving radars and missile launchers to the site, but also conducting evaluations on the potential impact on the surrounding environment in Songju County about a three-hour drive south of Seoul. There have been concerns about electronic waves from radars affecting local residents and the environment. The U.S. military is said to be designing the site based on the geographical landscape, which will be followed by the construction work. Then, U.S. Forces Korea will transfer the key equipment of the THAAD battery to the site, including mobile missile launchers, interceptor missiles, and X-band radars. Experts say THAAD will likely be operational after the May 9th presidential election. Park Jong-hong, Arirang News.